purchase all three of those. But uh, I do, I do love shopping at Aldi. But they got in trouble in January. Some of you might have followed this. Um, they got in trouble for some racist T-shirts. Basically, for Australia Day, they put out T-shirts that said Australia established 1788, thereby ignoring what 40 to 60 thousand years of Indigenous history, which was nice of them. Uh, and look, there was an outcry about it. An outcry, I tell you, by which I mean a couple of white people tweeted about it. Uh, <laughs> I was one of them. Fucking good on me. Right? <laughs> really achieved something. Uh, but in retrospect, when I look at it, I think to myself, the T-shirt's not really the problem, is it? That's not, we're sort of missing the big picture. The problem is that we celebrate being Australian on the date of a hostile takeover. Um, I'm thinking, just as a gesture of reconciliation, maybe we could change the date. You know, keep Australia Day, love to celebrate, just change the date. And don't worry, I'm not carping, I've got a real suggestion. I reckon we change it to the 13th of September. Why? Because it's Warney's birthday. <laughs> yeah? You wedge the rednecks, don't you fuck with Australian Day. Oh, but it's Warney. <laughs> oh, you're all right. Indigenous people get a new date, rest of us holiday in spring. Tick, 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 sold. <laughs> yeah? Plus we get a new mascot, yeah? He's almost entirely plastic. <laughs> we can just mount him out the front of the MCG. <laughs> Not the first time Warney's been mounted out the front of the MCG, <laughs> is what I'm guessing. 